We're gonna have to go around though. This is the last thing then. Yeah, we found the last one. No. Oh, these damn things, man. We're gonna attack the other creatures, but since I came running right through them, I decided, oh, human. We go. This is a big and nasty in here.
There is one heck of a spot for the storage box. Um, Take. You take. You don't see me standing here. I found this first. Go find your own. Oh, I'm intended. Just passing through. Just step away from my find. I'll let this go, but don't let it happen again. If you're lucky, you might find another one around here. But, you know, you don't like sharing too much. Let's see this. Hmm. Yes, take the stuff. Uh, let's see now. Then. Because why not? Interesting though, coming out on the other side of the cave system and semi-nice uh, miner. At least he didn't kill us. We'll try to. Oh, 
go. Would I just use the shotgun and kill him? So. fly off uh, we need to uh, go through the ships a bit pick off some parts and Occupy cave. Guess we're gonna have to drive out some people out of a cave. Maybe. What's right now? This is the only plan. I think I'm gonna run around to all of these. Otherwise, I'm just gonna make the buildings. Maybe until you get the trades, I don't know. Just such a tedious uh, thing to be having to run all the time. Then you have to stop because you have to regain oxygen. Run, stop, run, stop. here See if this is uh, friendly or hostile or
Hmm, occupied, huh? Yeah, it seems to be occupied by something nasty. Excuse me, I need your anus. Oh, I mean your anus. Ah, okay, so there is an unknown building over there. Those are interesting because those can be all kinds of stuff. So there is another cave up there. We have this one. Cave to go to. There's an unknown construction. Okay, let's see what's in here. Sneak with this stupid robot with me at the moment. Hey. Egg. Vacuum tape. Down first before we go up here. I think that might be uh, another way out. Okay, we came from there. Let's see what this is.
People are just slacking on the job. Ballistic deep mining. Sources now. Medium. Inside. Thought there was much credit. Chest Stylish style of game. Hmm. 
This is gonna hurt. I can't go up. Where's the next cave? Oops, excuse me. I'm not playing microphone. Where's Here we go, let's see what we found here then. Dung pong. Creatures are dead in the caves, it's like, but there's nothing around that's like... I'm just wondering how the heck did they all always die in the caves? There's nothing around in the caves so like...
Do -do. Okay. That is now. Just a bit. Let me see what this will be. Come on. Hmm. Looks like our ship. We took over. They decided to piss off. Where did this little fella go now then? He died in the end.
See if there's something over here. Do do do. Not a building. Oh, I have to go over there and check. Masco, come on. Wait, buddy. Master difficulty. Oh boy. Thinking cap on. And this one is for the second one. Okay, we can take that one and a one. Let's see, where do we have next construction?
Pum 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 pum. I am probably gonna have to get some other uh, something with the oxygen skill. Ridiculous how much I'm gonna have to go back and forth with this. Advice to avoid adjusting the number of human workers beyond the recommended capacity listed in your starter handbook. Studies indicate that organic works are highly efficient, less durable, and vulnerable to variety of stress factors present in this. Uh, authorized human workforce. Okay, so it can be two. This is the only, only setting you can be at. 
That's not what I wanted. First uh, lockpick fail coming up. And another attempt. Good. 
Well, let's see if they are uh, friendly out here now or... They should be. That is all the all the places to discover here. a lot of stuff and then do you think a flyer <laughs> no he's elusive Renji I still have, I'm still on the same for same planet so. you haven't been anywhere yet pretty much How are you doing, Orenji? Big, I mean, we've been uh, been running around to get all these uh, unknowns marks uh, marked out, so we've been everywhere. Not that it's really worth it in some cases. We have made a lot of money though. I mean, we have over 100k in uh, credits already. And that's just running around and selling off stuff. I mean, there's some caves. Uh, I mean, because some of these places are to get the free traits discovered on the planet. Then it's like pointless running around to all of them pretty much unless you want uh, resources. The only interesting is pretty much the buildings and if you can find a cave. But the caves can uh, show up as unknown sometimes so you don't know. So bit of a hassle to run around all over the place. I got contacts on you. Stop. Happy to make a deal. Absolutely. He has a little bit of money. Uh, let's see. 
Bashing Rattler. Deals double damage when gun bashing. Doesn't weigh that much. I can keep one. Just to see how it is. Uh, <laughs> Oops. I don't have to buy. Uh, let's see if he has anything. Uh, ammo. Why does this, um, Keeping that one, and uh, let's see. Modified old earth hunting right Ah, I need some rainstone. Try it out, keeping it. See on that one. Uh, let's see. Uh. 
Stay safe out there. trade business who you know matters it's cliche but it's of course of course Need anything else? You know where to find us. Oops. Hello, Captain. I will accept any and all. I think he only has. Oops. I thought I had some uh, contraband. Jump off uh, stuff now. Captain Jim, do you require assistance? Want all the resources? Thank you. Return soon. of the opportunity to rest in a safe location. Go down and see if we can do any research.
Mm -hmm. Let's see, what do we want? Um... Titanium. Slug shots.
two. Days right now. Keep an hour, yes, to heal up. So see what quest we're gonna do then. We have a few. <laughs> That's the main story. Let's go with Sarah somewhere. We have to this one to go to another city. A different system and a different planet. You need to go to a castle on some planet. He has to pick up a package from Red Mile. We have a survey up to do. A lot of places. Need to accept a cargo mission. Uh, hmm. We 
we've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, is it? So, question is... Let's see if we can pick up a cargo run. Oh yeah, we need to fix our ship too, by the way. Um, which ship are we gonna use? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if... Sure, how about it? Uh, we have three ships to pick from. Uh, question is... Three crew members. It's just that I have to registrate it. This one has a laser. This one doesn't have a laser. It has some other weapon. Which is less damage, a lot less. Wondering, um,
The only thing you can do is just move around some stuff. You can't really add to them or something. It feels like there should be like a way to. Uh, okay, so attach. We should upgrade our shield. These uh, end up bad though. I don't show anything. Ah, end up there. Okay. And use them then? The ship? Sure, you can find something you like. That is a big uh, one. That's a ship to have. I need a loan of uh, 180 credits. Oh wait, um, we can... Okay, no problem. Uh, weapons? Alpha beam.
Hmm. Oh well. Um, doesn't seem like that's gonna be anything. See if you picked up uh, one of these uh, cargo hauling missions. Uh, proper save. Uh, let's see. Uh, one could uh, well this one should be fine because we are in alpha and are in now right yeah that means we would fly over there I guess I should pay him to repair our ship then. Just not too uh, happy about paying a thousand credits for it then. Hey, what can I do for you? You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever's broken can be fixed. Into space we go. What the heck did I just get a, a level twelve? Hello.
Almost forgot what's it that all the controllers are in here. Let's see, we need to. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Um. What's going on here? I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. What about my ship? We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility. Oh, crap, so I need to... Okay, so okay, so that I didn't know all that stuff. Um, so it was all that I have some as <coughs> stolen gets taken. <laughs> I thought it was just contraband. God oh, damn it. Okay, so I had to ditch. Oh. I have to get rid of all the stuff that have uh, marked as stolen on me then, huh? Or? Let's see here. I have uh, several things marked as stolen. Oh, I do have contraband on me. That's why. <sighs> How can I? That's uh, usually she buys it though. Down here. Hmm. 
Okay. That door, we have to put it in our uh, storage. It's a lodge. So we can find a way to deliver it somewhere or somebody who wants to buy it. If there's something you need, you won't find a better I thought she buys it. She did last time, I think. Okay. But that's what we had to do. The trade authority appreciates your visit. I think I got Oh crap, I should have gone. And never picked up the mission, did I? Pretty awesome walk down. To run and get the mission. Okay, yeah, let's uh, do the uh, same and we do this then. There we go. I forgot I had a contraband. Scan complete. Welcome to Gagarin. You are clear to land. The end. This is a little bit of a boring part. You don't get to land and stuff like that. Certain 
to Gagarin. Your ship need fuel? Repairs? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Hmm. That's why you could have used the construction is a dead industry, Chief Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Relay Medical, Archimite, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. I'm not closing off the city every time you want to run a tour group in here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where people want to live again. People are living here just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. You're not on my count. Is this arc might related? I'm on Gagarin to make money, not friends. I'm a strong Jesus. We have to make money, not friends. Piss off, pretty much. Redacted, redacted. Of the way to 17 patrols, cling to heaven and chase Helgi Hauksen out of his door while waving a broom. He killed the scene, witnessed the incident, and filed a report as a precaution, but further investigation revealed no assault took place. And at the time, he's charged with stealing materials from a work site. Security, you're under arrest. Damn this uh, stealing man. Uh, pickpocketing is such a. Again. Big pocket! Stop! Ah, no. <clears throat> Sixty-three percent is not gonna work again, so then. Damn it! Hey, give that back! <laughs> she, she takes uh, both of them. Okay, so we need to get our pickpocketing up. We need to find some other suckers. I have a shot with her. Oh, tell me you're here to just report a good old fashioned crime. If I have to deal with one more corporate exec begging for special treatment, I'll eat my badge. I'm here to report her. Yes, you have to know the area. <laughs> Guess I'm off the hook then. But look. 
I'm Security Chief Pretorius. If you do have anything to report, you can speak to me or one of my officers. We're always around. Um, anything I should see while I'm in, in uh, Gagarin? The garden's not really that sort of bird. Most of the restaurants went belly up when the mech trade shut down. Only one left is Lizzie's. On the other side of town, though it does have a nice view of the square. There's also a little social club. The local executive set up across from Lizzie's. But it's still pretty light on amenities. Now, if you're just looking to resupply, then you want Clint's. Another case of last business standing. But he's got a good selection. And for medical supplies, you'll want Dr. Keala. You can find both of them on the main concourse. Beyond that, we're just corporate offices and private homes. Hmm. How long have you been on the job? Well, I came here right after training, which was 10 years ago now. Gagarin was a lot rougher then. People were still reeling from all the plants getting shut down after the war. So there was a lot of petty theft, break-ins. I was responsible for putting together a pretty busy community outreach program. Worked out well enough that they eventually made me chief. A lot of crime in uh, Gagarin? We've had our issues. Some folks aren't thrilled about the corporations moving in. But the majority don't act on it. Those that do, largely keep it civil. Protest, throw some paint. Occasional crate wanders off. But we've managed to avoid any open conflict so far. It's really not a bad assignment. Be safe. Hmm. If one more corporate should get back to it anyway. I remember watching shiny new mechs rolling on the ships at the port. It's been a long time since then. Salutations. Please ask the supervisor if you need something. You're not the usual courier. Please tell me you're his replacement, and that you're just here to pay me a long overdue visit on his behalf. I'm not, but I'm happy to help you find him. You're not the courier. Hmm. Our delivery service doesn't run late like this. Something must have happened. Look, I'm expecting a very important package. Very important. What would you say to tracking it down for me? Quickly. I pay, and I pay well. Sure. Good. Let's get you on your way then. Rosamine, United Transport, Garn Branch. Now, please. Akashi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akashi. Oh, and what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? I thought so. Send it to my personal slate. Thank you, Akashi. Here. All the places our courier might have gotten way late. She mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. When you do finally track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please. <laughs> Damn, everybody's so stuck up on this place, man.
finally starting to cool off. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore, so don't waste your time asking. Hmm. Oh, let me see what you got. Refurbished a lot of the pieces myself. Hmm. Marathon. <clears throat> Damn, that one does some nice damage for a pistol. Then it costs about two. Like Seventeen thousand. Top one has it uh, a sieve. Mm. I want that. There is um, a neon. Uh, what else? Um, Wait, well, I need spice. Or that, um, does he have? Have that material. Um, I <sighs> have to pick on everything I need again. What oh, can you tell me about the Gagarin? Gagarin? Gagarin. It was a military town until the end of the colony war. Mechs were our specialty. Everyone always blabbers about Mars making the highest performance machines. But if you needed a system that wouldn't let you down in a pinch, you piloted a Gagarin. But that all dried up when the mechs were banned with the armistice. Now, we've got these new firms coming in. Arkmite, Centauri Mills. Claim they're here to revitalize the city. Which is funny, since their employees refuse to step foot in most of it. Mm -hmm. I was a uh, Gagarin like back when they still made Max here. Plenty more competition for stores like mine, that's for sure. UC had a lot more money to throw around in those days. During the war, I couldn't keep the shelves stocked. At first, because of all the demand. But later, because the Freestar Collective flotillas were so damn good at picking off UC merchant craft. But the biggest difference now? The quiet. Not just because most of the forges and mines shut down. It was a testing. Firms used to drive their prototype mechs out into the canyons, way beyond the city. But you could still hear the guns all the way from here. It was like, shoo, thunder. So when the thunder stopped, well, so did Gagarin in a way. Hmm. You really miss those days. Hard to not be nostalgic for a time when the city was in a better place. Though, knowing what we do now, with the costs of the war and all, probably better for everyone that Gagarin's moved on. Hey, buddy. You're welcome so long as we're open. all 
the extra heat from the old forges, that's for sure. Hmm. Gagarin was a one industry city for a long time. Now? Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I've got a lot of shipments to process still. So let's cut to the chase. Oh, yeah? Are you here to claim a shipment in storage, or do you have some other shipping concern? Did one of my robots wander off again? Was it something else entirely? Hmm. You sure are a lot of robots around here, huh? What do you expect? Robots never get tired. They don't need brakes. They can carry heavy loads. They're faster and more efficient in every way for this kind of work. And if I'm being honest, I prefer their company. When you've spent most of your life in space away from people, you learn to trust technology more than humanity. There's a lot of coral come through here. You'd be surprised. Gagarin's had a bit of a resurgence lately as an industrial hub. It seems like every week we're storing and shipping more and more cargo. That reminds me, if this keeps up, we're going to need more robots. Why can you tell me about the shipping warehouse? Well, it's owned by Unified Transport. We employ a mostly robotic staff. Fewer mistakes that way. We do short-term storage, long-term. I guess that's pretty much it. It's a warehouse. We do shipping. Enough said. Okay. All right. Bye. Please ignore the clutter. We have a system. <laughs> ignore the clutter. We do have a system. Yeah, sure. Bro. some stuff Chronicles of the Mech Riders. It's a good title. You read it, right? I'm sorry, I think I missed something. Ah, then let me explain. Action, adventure, heartbreak, humanity at its absolute most raw. Ever since I left the military, I've been thinking about writing Chronicles. Interviewing other mech pilots about what it was like to experience the war strapped in and what it's been like for us ex pilots since mechs were banned. Hmm, you're a mech pilot deployed from 2309 till the fleet got themselves blown to bits two years later, and the UC waved the white flag. I was at the Battle of Mars when the Free Stars dropped in to try and blow our industrial output to smithereens. If you've ever visited Sidonia and noticed it's still in one piece, that's my unit's work. Hmm. I would definitely read that. Well, in the bold future where the book's done and I don't have to track packages for a living anymore, I'll happily sign your copy. Now, what can I do for you? Hmm. <coughs> you said mechs were banned. Why? The armistice that ended the colony war put plenty of new laws into place, but the two big ones were no more Xeno weapons and no more mechs. You'll get into trouble for even having mech components on your ship on most settled worlds. So those of us that made our living piloting them were left without a purpose. Which is how I went from driving a 1500 horsepower battle frame to working in a shipping warehouse. But what's it like piloting a mech? When folks lose a limb, some get ghost sensations, feel like the limb's still there. Well, imagine that across your whole body. When you're strapped in long enough, you and your machine, you grow to understand each other. What the machine can take and keep going, and what the human can. We'd even sleep in our mech so we could deploy faster, 
and since they were a hell of a lot more comfortable than the cots the UC issued, you spent your life cradled in the arms of a war machine. That's what it's like to pilot a mech, and that's what I want to write about. Why aren't you out there writing a book? Sailing across the settled systems, hunting down all these other pilots, it's not going to be cheap. That's why I'm living in scenic Agarin, and not, say, downtown New Atlantis. Every spare credit goes right into the book fund. Of course, I don't exactly mind living in the same town where my mech was built, either. But once I've got enough, I'm gone. Okay. Later. If you have questions, please approach a designated United Transport spokesperson. Oh, it's night when we went in, and now it's all, all on daylight. Huh? 